And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Fukuoka at the Fukuoka International Center. We have some K1 welterweight action here for you. In the red corner, Masaaki Noidi taking on in the blue, Vitor Tofanelli. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Boom. Let's get into this. So, Masaki has the height and youth advantage, but only one centimeter, but seven years younger at 27 to 34. Huge. Yep, that is right. He also has a little bit, um, well, uh, a, a decent amount more experience. No ED on over 50 <laughs> fights, and a lot of that against extremely high-level competition. There's just no doubt that Noidi is, is world level in this weight class. Um, yeah, and just a tough position for Tofanelli. This is his first fight in K1, so he's getting, getting a welcome um, from one of the gnarliest. Yeah, he's not exactly being given a, a good path, is he, in K1 to, uh, to have a debut up against Noidi. No. Let's see how he composes himself here. He's known as the Brazilian Typhoon, so... We're going to see a Brazilian Typhoon meet the monster himself, no really. That's right. I mean, he comes from a karate background, so Typhoon could mean maybe he favors the spinning techniques. We just saw him throw the spinning back kick early on there. Um, maybe there will be more where that came from. Possibly. You ever seen a Typhoon meet a monster before? I have not, but I haven't seen a monster. Except when I look in the mirror. Oh, man. <laughs> Just kidding. I was going to land a wife joke there, but she's listening <laughs> to this. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah mine too. I can't go. I'm not really brave enough. <laughs> Let's cow away from this one. So we're seeing a slow and patient start. No, really taking the center of the ring and, and pushing the pace a little bit more. Yes. Um, and you, you'd imagine this. He's coming off of a free win uh, mm. streak. He's got his confidence up, and he's just the... Uh, the more rounded and experienced performer. Wow, good move there. Tofanelli just clubbing back with the left hook as soon as Noidi was showing that he wanted to go to the body and getting out of the way. I'm, I'm sure he knows, having watched the video, that Noidi is, is a massive body puncher. But this right now is just very typical Noidi style. Real patient, real relaxed, cutting off the ring. He is just... the. He is the representative of phone booth fighting. He wants to get you close and fight in the tiniest little space possible. Right, that makes sense. He keeps backing Tofanali up against the ropes. Tofanali doing well to pivot and try and keep the space behind him. I noticed with Tofanali though, he's, he's looking for a counter. Mm -hmm. He's looking for counters upstairs. So mm -hmm. he's probably quite comfortable with Noiri coming in, closing distance for him. He's actually he's doing a fairly good job of um, not getting caught in the corner, throwing some pot shots here, putting some um, you know, power on some kind of wild hooks when he needs to. Ooh, devastating inside the that, that, that echoed around the entire arena. Oh, no, he does a good job of kind of lulling you into a sense of comfort because he just looks like ultra relaxed in there, but then out of nowhere just crack. Yeah, so composed, so composed. Good to see Vitor go downstairs with a body shot though. Mm. But, uh, but it didn't seem to have any effect whatsoever on the composure of Noidi. Yeah, so Noidi, uh, Noidi too at this close range can do so many different techniques. He'll do nasty little things in the clinch, uh, in the clinch there, like knee the thighs. And he can also throw the high kick at very close range. So he's just very dangerous in close. Composed and got a wide toolbox. It's a dangerous combination. Yeah, the worst versus the monster. Well, yeah, man, good, good round, you know, very, just very much what you would expect um, from Noida here, starting, already doing some good damage with low kicks, um, and kind of controlling the pace and rhythm, and just almost looking like he's falling asleep in there the whole time. Absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be intriguing to see how they're going to come out for round two, because Tofanali needs to do something a little bit more different. Yeah. He's, uh, he's going to have to make more use when Noiri closes the distance, just before he pivots, he wants to catch him as he's coming in and then pivot away. Um, he's got to make, make more use of those opportunities. Well, it seemed like he had um, you know, a good jab as well. He, one thing I noticed is when he threw no, the spinning two. kick downstairs, Noiri lowered his hand to block it with his arm, so that could create an opening for a feint into a sort of spinning hook kick or something upstairs, if he does favor those types of techniques, it will be very interesting to see what, 
what he does here game plan wise. Well, he's being a little bit more busy now, Coffinale, and trying a variety of, uh, of things out. Mm. And look at no, really. He says, yeah, you want to be busy? Fine, I'll be busy. And yeah. he'll just respond with his own. He's cutting the wing off. He needs to make sure, Tofanelli, that um, he doesn't just guard up and become sort of a moving punching bag. He needs to counter. He needs to throw back. He needs to just stick that jab because Noidi will just, just suck that space right up. Absolutely. He's so imposing. He's just so good at cutting on the rim. Uh, yeah. Look at this now. Yeah, he'll switch his stance too. And the thing is, look at that. You know, the shot worked. He chucked it again. You know? Coffin Ali needs to cut down on those a little bit sooner. Yeah, he loves the body. You can see he's going to the body there. Shot him in the corner now. You know, he had him hurt. A lot of guys would swing that right hand for the head. What did Noe do? He went downstairs. He loves body work. Nice combination, but nothing on it. Yeah. Nothing significant. He's going to have to put more power on the end of something if he wants no ear his respect. That's the thing is, he's got to do something that gets the respect. You know, if, if, if he has something something that scares away the other bit, or at least has him a bit concerned, um, I mean, that's, a, that's a place to start. But look at Noe there. So calm, kneeling the thighs of Tofanelli. Absolutely. He's just basically just dismantling his weapons to the point where he won't be able to chuck them hard soon. Nice work there, I like that. Shortened up the shots and then found the opportunity. Oh, something, uh, yep, something bugging him there. Oh, his nose is bleeding. Yeah, yeah Luigi's style is like a, like a twisted surgeon from a horror movie, just picking your <laughs> knees apart. And, you know, He's surgical. Yeah, surgical. exactly. Surgical man. precision. Well, you, you can imagine he's like the dentist. He's got you on the table and um, doesn't, doesn't give you a shot of Novocaine. Just something to paralyze you in place and starts removing your teeth one by one. <laughs> have you been watching the Little Shop of Horrors? I know. Is that what you've been man. watching? Ooh. More like human centipede, maybe. Oh, my word. Yeah, that would do it. That would give you nightmares. Now, the thing about Victor is... He's landed nothing significantly to gain any kind of respect or hesitation from Noah really. And he has to. He yeah. has to. He's chucking these little typhoon combos, yeah. Mm. But they've they're all speed and no boom. He's gotta get his respect. I'll tell you what, he's tough as nails, man. He's got um, a chin, he's game. Oof. He's game. But yeah, he's gotta pull something out. Otherwise, all he's gonna have to, you know, all he's gonna do is just show how tough he is, because my gosh, Noidi has landed some big hard shots. Absolutely. If I'm in no Eerie's corner right now, I'm just going to say, look, keep doing more of the same. Don't get overzealous. There's no need to go for a knockout and take a risk. If I'm in Villa's corner right now, well, oh. you don't want to be in Villa's corner Ooh. right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, he just kept those. landing the same shot over and done with. And how, did, how did Vera stand up to that? Oh, like, how did he let it happen, first of all? Ooh. And then, uh, then, yeah, how did he stand up to it? He, he blocked those shots good with his chin. Let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah, I can just imagine Noidi, you know, sitting in some room with books on a fine <laughs> chair and a <laughs> monocle and some horrific accent. Twiddling the training mustache. session, oh. yes. I, I love picking apart his liver. Oh my God! Yeah, there's, there's something just evil about him, man. Very, very sinister. Very dark. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He could be like a James Bond henchman. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt about it. But we're starting off some round three action here. And this is it. You know, Villa comes out and thinks, right, I'm going to change pace. I'm going to get up my shots off first. I'm going to land. But it's just not, they're very nice combinations, very well put together, but there's no sting in them. There's nothing that's going to make no really think twice. Oh, now it's really doing the, you know, pumping the jab like that. That's not a bad idea. One, two, three jabs, then unleashing the right hand. That's a start. It's a start. It's a start. It's a start. I'd like to see more of it. Yeah, and he hasn't, he hasn't done any, um, any work to Noidi's legs, so Noidi's probably feeling real fresh down there. And Noidi's now, you know, beginning to counter those straights with the uppercut. Yeah, he's so good with his guard. Uh, distance control as displayed there, just hanging outside of the strikes. Ooh, a little bit of a push to the face there. 
Yeah. 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 Love loss here. Yeah. He's probably wondering why he's still here. I don't yeah. get paid for overtime. You know, it is. Well, we all know that, you know, no idiot, that the one, um, you know, criticism that he'll get is that he hasn't had a KO recently. So I'm sure he wants to finish this off. But Tofinelli is not not getting out of there, man. He's not going home. He's he's here to the final minute, and he's proving that right now. And I must say, I'm impressed with some of the work he's doing. Yeah. The work rate, the volume, the variety. They're all there trying to find the the answer to the no really question. He's game. He's not going nowhere. Yeah, no, no, he just um. Yeah, it's Very so nice. smooth. It's just so relaxing. Yeah, the way he moves away, re-engages. Look, we're looking at combinations. What five, six shots? Yeah. Just moves out the way, re-engages again. Yep. So smooth. So smooth. You know, he's got one minute left. If he wants to um, lock in a KO, he's gonna have to kind of get out of that relaxed mode and let things go a little bit. But uh, is it worth it? You know? You can almost sense there's part of him that's like, well, I'm ahead. I don't want to take the risk. Mm. Um, but then you can see he's, he's, also, he's not completely happy in there, is he? I mean, look, oh, he's getting down there with some on. venom. So, um, yeah. No, and he works the body, but then boom, back upstairs with the hook to the head. Ooh, Did you see that? He was game. He was yeah. like right back on his man after that. He was like, right, I'm going to have a little sprint. Yeah. Well, he's no. Usain Bolt impression. Well, no doubt he knows oh. no, no idea can hurt him, but maybe he's feeling some confidence. You know, you can't you can't get rid of me, can you? And uh, he knows that's kind of the Thor in yeah. his side here a little bit as well. Absolutely. Tough as nails. Oh, his punch resistance seems to have increased throughout the fight, and not decreased. Yeah. Well, he's gaming. He's hanging in there. Oh, just he is. eating shots uh, in between stanzas. Brilliant. It's part of no really right now. He's just kind of like, come on, just ring the bell. I've done enough. Ring the bell. Well, well, here you go. And it closes out. I'm a bit anticlimactic. Um, yeah, Tofanelli, just too tough, man. Absolutely. I think it's a combination. No really just calling in that last round and coasting, and Tofanelli saying. You're not going to underestimate me. Yeah. Uh, I've got more and I want to show it. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, beautiful the angles there. Yeah. yeah. Just the way he moves and shifts his weight across that side and boom. You know, and he just goes with the flow a little bit. You know, he is so relaxed. He can kind of roll with the shots a little, move this way, take angles, you know, just kind of flow around the punches. And then every now and then he is just smashing your body or your legs. お待たせしました。判定結果をお知らせします。ジャッジ山根。30対20。赤のイリ。ジャッジ豊永。30対26。赤のイリ。以上判定3対0をもちまして、勝者赤コーナー。ノイリーマサーキー。Have it, no surprises there. Yes, but, um, that's out. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, Vito can go away knowing that last round he gave it his very best, and, um, yeah. and he gave a good account of himself. You know, it seems like he did get underneath the underneath the skin there a little bit of no idea as well. You know, um, no doubt no idea wanted to finish that inside the distance, but you know, Vitor doesn't play like that. You know. <laughs> Yeah, Villa is, uh, he's not going to roll over and lie down, is he? He's, um, he's going to fight to the bitter end. I think everyone's learned a little thing about him today. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. That dude's got liquid cement flowing through his veins. I love the punch variety. I just love the combinations. And how he does them so seamlessly. It's just pure yeah. reflex and instinct. He's, he fades the shoulder forward there for the no-motion no right hand. Sneaky, man, real sneaky. It lands, and then he just loads it, boom, 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 and unleashes it for, you know, that stanza earlier in the match, four unanswered straights, just smooth and crisp and technical. And that is one thing you can't do in the You can't allow shots to be unanswered. Um, we saw a difference in the third round when Vittel was answering shots between the second and the first, where he wasn't as doing as good a job. No, you're absolutely right. Well, and there we have it.
The K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Fukuoka at the Fukuoka International Center. We will see you next time.